Hello guys, welcome to the first of potentially many tutorials using Super Multiplayer Shooter Template from the Unity Asset Store. I got this in a humble bundle and it has worked out great for me. It's a fun little asset to play with. Uh, it uses Pantu Photon Unity Networking from Exit Games, which I've used in the past. And uh, yeah, so mostly this is going to be just to help out people. I've been using it alongside the cross backend platform solution, uh, cross platform backend solution, sorry, uh, which is essentially everything you need with uh, PlayFab. So you can use PlayFab to manage your user accounts, inventories, all that sort of stuff. So most of these tutorials are going to be integrating parts of that with, uh, we'll just call it SMST, the Super Multiplayer Shooter Template. So we'll start out easily enough once you have set up all of your CBS with PlayFab and the Azure storage. What you're going to do is find the login uh, login scene, which comes with CBS. On the auth context, there is the lobby scene, and we're going to change that to what we currently use for SMST, which is just main menu. Save that. That's fine. What we want to do after that is open up the login form. We can either open up the prefab and open up the login form script or you can just search for the login form script. Uh, what that does literally I'm just going to show you by using the on login with custom ID. So on here we can essentially take out everything we don't need. Uh, I'm literally just going to hide everything so we just have the custom ID left. We're just going to play around with that one. So now that that is set, once we log in with our custom ID, it should put us over to the SMST main menu. So if we want to open up our main menu that comes with SMST, uh, You'll want to, on the main panel, where the name input field is, all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. I'm going to create my own text. Let's just stick it in the middle, make it bigger. You can do what you want with this. This is literally going to be uh, a let's just say welcome message we're going to use to welcome the player with the player's name let's just stick up the size stick it in the middle make it look good and let's just make it white so it stands out where's my color gone? there it is we'll make it white and we'll stick it in bold okay we're just going to call this uh, let's call it user welcome okay then you want to open up your sample main menu script which i already have open here uh, we'll want to add using cbs at the top there's a couple things from cbs you will need to grab so it's on the profile module of the cbs documentation so we've got the using cbs let me private eye profile gets set and we put that uh, after all of these we want in our start we need to set the private we need to reference the profile module so we'll put that in the start we also want to add a way to reference the welcome message so we could that is user welcome so we'll put it uh, we'll just add it at the end so we want a public text uh, user welcome okay and then so smst it does randomly generates a name for you uh, with the old way so what you can do is we can just delete that if you don't want to delete it you can uh, just comment it out with the two forward slashes at the start of each line, but I'm not going to use that. So 
So what's going to happen is at the start, it's going to reference the profile module is going to be the CVS profile, and then it's going to set the player name. And we want to set the player name on the PlayFab user's ID. So if we go to set player name, we don't, we're not going to worry about the player press. The photon new, uh, nickname is then going to be the profile module dot display name dot text. No, it's not because it's not dot text. It's just the display name because it's already text. We don't need to worry about that. Sorry. Uh, and then we want to set the welcome message so user welcome dot text is going to be uh, no. uh, welcome and we always have, you want to put a space there because otherwise it'll add the next bit of text directly alongside the welcome plus and then we use the profile module dot display name And that is that. So at the start of the, when you come onto the main menu through the login screen, it's going to pass over your custom login. We're going to grab that. We're going to set the player name when the main menu opens. And it's then going to change your photo nickname. So in game, your name is going to appear as your display name through PlayFab. And it's going to give you the little welcome message at the start. So we'll go ahead, we'll give that a little test. But remember when you go back, you have to go to the managers to see that our user welcome text is there. And then we just want to drag the text over. And then what we will do is if we go back to the login scene, we will test it. So we're gonna enter our custom ID. login and I think it's getting it from it's not updating it so it might not be display name what other options did we have player ID maybe player ID So we'll try this. So we're going to go back in the login. We're just going to try the login scene. Oh. And it's not done it. OK. Well, that's one thing we're going to work on. I can't remember how I've done it on mine, but mine only allows logging in via Google Play games. So I just grab the social local user login name. So it's a lot easier. I know there's a way to set a different player ID to rename through CBS. So we could potentially just use that. Uh, but. Uh, Yes, so we'll go over that in another one, but essentially what you've got there is you're able to then log in using CBS or for seeing through PlayFab and it will pass you through to the login. And in the next one, we'll show how to change the name and uh, yes, potentially be able to change the name in your own panel and then it will display there. Okay, thank you very much guys.